Welcome to Daily Armor. We'll find our scripture today in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 6, looking at verse number 10. Kind of wanting to get back to the beginning, um, getting back to the reason that I named my devotions Daily Armor. I did an intense um, study. Um, not that I come up with any master um, you know, revelation or anything like that, but really, really seeking to apply um, the lessons taught in the armor of God to my life, and that filtered over in doing the daily devotions. Um, I want to say that I don't have all the answers. I don't even have probably most of the answers. Um, I don't get everything right. I will say stuff wrong. Um, I'm not the smartest chick in the room, and I just simply want to share with you um, some things the Lord has shared with me and do my very best to explain it the very best I can. Um, sometimes I know what I want to say, and I have trouble with getting the words out, uh, with using the correct terminology that expresses exactly um, what it is that the Lord um, did for me what that inward work and and sometimes it in the middle of it I know that I'm close um, I know that the Lord is showing me something and helping me in an area that I'm struggling in that I'm having trouble in and but I'm and I'm not quite got there and just as a, as progression goes as time goes I mean as another lesson comes around then things will start to be put together uh, so I am no by no means saying I am any kind of authority. Um, I have by no means got anything figured out. And I struggle just like um, you do. I struggle with all of the same things that you struggle with. Um, you know, as that with the things that we struggle with as a woman, trying to do everything, um, trying to be there for everybody, um, trying to be um, a good servant to the Lord Jesus Christ and figuring out exactly what that is and what that's supposed to look like. Um, at 50 years old, I'm still, um, I still see the Lord working with me and making me into what he wants me to be. And I find that I'm still feeling like I'm, you know, on the verge of, of growing up. Um, but that's growth in my Christian walk. And this Ephesians chapter 6 is a very good place to start with. Um, it's, it's speaking to um, the children. And I know that even as a 50-year-old woman that I am a child of the king. I am the daughter of the king. And I, I need to be um, applying these truths to my life. Uh, in my relationship with him because that's what ultimately it's all about and molding and shaping and making that kind of relationship that he wants us to have um like in previous lesson the, about worship we are to worship in spirit and in truth and we are to move forward in our christian walk um, we, we can't get stuck. We don't want to stand still and, and be stuck. We want to be moving forward, but we can't do that in our own strength and in our own mind. And so I, I don't want anybody ever to think that I am doing a devotion in my own strength, um, in my own uh, might, but I am, I am doing it through and because of the Lord. Um, so let's look at verse number 10. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 10, and it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Even down to that word finally, um, that word finally meaning, okay, from now on. So finally, this is what you're to do. From, from now on, from this step forward, from this day forward, this is what you need to do. And this is what I need to do. And so the verses that follow it is how we are to live our Christian life. How are we to, to get up in the morning? How are we to manage our day? It is in these verses that follow. It's in putting on this daily armor. But to begin with, when we are going out into the world, when we are trying to live for the Lord the best way that we know how, and even in, in spite of all the mistakes that we're going to make along the way, we, we go with the Lord, with his strength. 
Um, I just love that. Finally, from this day forward, um, I, was a word that I was almost not even going to look up in the Bible dictionary. And I thought, well, I'm just going to look it up. I'm going to see what it says. And when it said from this day forward, um, from now on, I was like, oh, that just makes it um, no matter where, where we mess up, um, we can start today from this day forward and trying to, to put on the whole armor of God. And we do it in the strength of the Lord. He's telling us that we can't do some things without him, but with him, we can do things that we never even thought was possible through him in his strength, using his strength. Um, my brethren's talking about the brothers and sisters in Christ. So this is a this is a verse that's for believers. This is for those of you and I that are saved and are on our way to heaven. We are serving the Lord. We have trusted in Him for salvation. We have trusted in Him uh, to save us and cleanse us from our sins. I um, mean, it wasn't anything that I did right. It wasn't anything that I achieved. But it was that free gift that He freely gives to anyone. Um, who would call on him. And so this is to the brothers and sisters in Christ. This is for God's family, God's children. These verses are for God's children. Uh, we are to obey him, just like in Ephesians 6, 1. It says, children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Um, God is my parent. He is my heavenly father, and I need to obey him the very best of my ability. And I'll be the first to say that I don't always get it right. Um, I get I get things wrong all the time, um, but from this day forward, I want to move forward um, each and every day and using and reminding myself that I don't go, I'm not going at it alone. Uh, even though some days I may feel uh, very by myself, that I'm never ever alone. That He is always there. He's never going to leave me and you. He's never going to forsake us. He knows everything that's going on. No matter how hard the battle gets, no matter what is coming in the days to come, He is always going to be there. And no matter if we're in a room by ourselves, we're never alone. And when we think about that, that's what gives us strength to keep, to, to not want to give up, to want to keep, you know, striving um, not to please others, not even to please ourselves. I think so many times, and I'm so guilty of this, um, I am so drawn to pleasing myself. And then I realize, Lord, I'm not pleasing you when I'm worried about pleasing myself. When I do things that, um, that I enjoy, um, that I feel like that I can accomplish, there's, there's no worship in that. There's no um, growth in that, that I need to be doing things to please the Lord. And so many times, He's going to take us out of our comfort zone. He's going to put us in circumstances that is beyond um, our ability uh, because that's when we will really fully trust and rely on Him. And so we come, um, it says, so from now on, brothers and sisters in Christ, um, and then we're talking, you know, my lessons are for the, for the ladies. So um, this is for us ladies. So be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord, in His strength. He has all the strength. Um, there's, He doesn't get tired. Um, yesterday, I found myself so exhausted um, at this age, um, I'm sure those ladies that are around my age, you know what it's like to wake up at three o'clock in the morning and you can't go back to sleep. And then you finally, finally get to doze off and it's really time, um, to get up and, and start your day. And then in that afternoon, I get so exhausted when those days happen. And yesterday afternoon was one of those days. Um, I had to end up going into town very late in the afternoon and still come home and fix supper as all of y'all battle with the same things I do. And my uh, my energy level was just, it was just exhausted. Um, I just could not hardly, hardly go. And uh, I feel felt so defeated because of the fatigue um, that felt like was overtaking me. And we have to remember, especially on those days, to go to push through in the strength of the Lord because there's going to be days that our strength is just, it just fails us. And, but the God strength never fails us. It never, ever, ever fails us. So we have to do things in his strength. 
um, when we think about the things that there is to do in the Lord's um, um, economy and, and what he wants us to do, I think so many times of being defeated before I even get started, of telling myself, well, this is not something that, I, that I'm able to do. I can't do this. I, I'm not smart enough to do this. I don't have a natural ability to do this. Um, maybe this is something that I've, or simply something I don't know anything about that I've never done. I don't know anything about it. So the Lord has just constantly put me in circumstances. And I'm sure if he's done that for me, he's done doing that to you where you're constantly be, you know, from one year to the next, you maybe have to learn a skill that you didn't know that you would ever need to learn um, that maybe you have to do something for the Lord because this is what he's leading you to do. And you, you're thinking, I've never done anything like this before, Lord, and I have no idea what I'm doing. And he puts you in the midst of that, in the middle of you still don't know what you're doing. Um, and it, I'm constantly feeling like I'm in a state of, Lord, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm willing to, to move forward and I'm willing to do it. I, I just need you. And I I feel so defeated because I feel like that I need him so much, but he wants, that's when we have the best victory is when we know that we can't do it, but we have his strength. We have his strength. Um, if we continue on, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He has all power, both in heaven and on earth. He has all power, period. And he is a mighty, we serve a mighty God. And whenever you and I are put in predicaments and situations that we have absolutely no control over, nothing that we can do, and we are at his mercy, we get to see some powerful, powerful things happen and some mighty things happen because we serve a mighty God. So I don't want you going through your life thinking that you have to have everything figured out. You have to, um, you know, have to be that that everybody else wants you to be because all you need to do is have that fellowship and that relationship with, with Jesus Christ. And he will guide us and he will direct us and he will help us all along the way, all along the way. And the way that we, we hold on, what we hold on to is his strength, his might, his power. We're holding on to that because we are always going to let us down. Others are always going to let you down. Don't put that kind of pressure on them. Don't put that kind of pressure on your on your spouse. Don't put that kind of pressure on your on your parents, on your siblings, on your pastor, on your teachers. Don't put that kind of pressure on them because they can't live up to that. Uh, but what you can do is put that kind of responsibility on God because he's the only one that can handle it. So from now on, don't feel like you have to do it alone. From now on, don't feel like you have to do it in your own strength and your own power and your own might because you're going to be weak some days. You're going to be weak some days. You're going to be uh, tired. You're going to, your, yourself is going to let you down and others are for sure going to let you down. So from this day forward, go in the strength of the Lord. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.